Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Life with Sid. Hey citizens. Hey girl, hey. Yo, and today's video is all about summer sandals. Summer is right around the corner. So I wanted to talk about my top five luxury sandals with one bonus sandal that I'm really not feeling, but the sandal is so hyped up. Most of you girls probably already have it in your collection, but we'll get into that sandal later. So we're just gonna start no particular order, just my top five luxury sandal. And I would say a lot of these sandals that I picked out of my collection are super comfortable. I'm all about comfort. Um, I love to be cute as well, but comfort is number one. Comfort is number one. And then after that is the cuteness and the sexiness. But I, well, if I'm comfortable, then I feel cute and sexy. So that's all that matters, right? So let's just jump right into it. Okay, coming in at number one is my Valentino Jelly Sandals Rock Stud. I got these last year for my birthday. I wanted these for quite some time. I think these are a classic beach sandal. I love these with a simple maxi dress. Mostly all my sandals I will wear with a maxi dress or a pair of linen pants. I think these will be super cute. I'll populate some pictures of me with them on over here. But what I like about these, that you can wear these on the beach and don't have to worry about destroying the leather on your luxury sandals. These will be my go-to beach sandals. And that's why I picked this color in the nude. I cannot believe the landscapers. Like, always when I'm ready to record. So hopefully it's not too loud and I have to do this video again. Yeah, so these will be number one for my go-to beach sandals because, you know, when you're on the beach, the sand can really, really tear up your leather sandals. So that's why I will always pick these for a beach sandal. Okay, coming in number two is my Gucci thong sandals. Um, like I said, I will populate pictures over here. These are very sexy to me for a flat sandal. It's just something about the, the high, the long thong. Um, I think these are super, super sexy for a flat. The comfort level, I will give it an 8 out of 10. I think these are wide foot friendly for people with wide feet. I think these sandals will be perfect for you or if you have a high arch. I have a bit of space here. I still love them. Now, I have not really walked a lot in these, so I don't know, like, true comfort. I don't know how comfortable these really can be. So I'm going to be very honest. I have not really walked in them, but I do have a lot of space. So I know these will be good if you have a wider foot or a higher instep if that makes any sense. I'm not sure if I'm using that right, but if you have a high end step, I think that's what you would call it. But these are coming in at number two for Gucci thong sandals. I'm not really a thong sandal girl. I have to get used to it. Sometimes it gets a little annoying in between my toes, but I just wanted to add these to my collection because of the Marmot G's. I love this look too, and it just goes super cute with my Gucci Marmot bag. So yes, here are the Gucci Marmot Thong Sandals. And I think these are super cute with a long maxi dress, flowy dress, oversized pants, straight leg pants. You can do a lot with these Gucci Thong Sandals. Okay, coming in at number three is my Christian Dior D-Way Slides. Talk about comfort. These right here are like the most comfortable slides that I own in my collection. These are number one. Okay. These are super, super comfortable. Maybe because I have a thinner foot, they fit perfectly. Here's a picture I populate over here. They fit just right. True to size. These are 37 and I just love them. These are like my most comfortable 
slide that I own. No issues whatsoever. I do have a pink pair as well. And I probably would add a third pair because that's how comfortable they are. They hold up pretty well. I did scuff the toe box just a little bit here. Just a little scuff here. But not too bad. And I had these for two summers. Yes, two summers. And I love them. I love, I would not trade these in for anything. They are super duper comfortable. So if you don't have a pair of these D-Way slides, I would suggest if you want something comfortable and just stylish, and these are gonna be around for a while. I know a lot of people are, you know, trying to get away from like the big branding and everything like that. But like I said, these are a classic Dior and I think they will be in style forever and they're very very comfortable and you can wear these in hundreds of different ways you can definitely wear these dress them up dress them down they're just perfect now we're going to get into some dad sandals now these sandals I was really on the fence about these sandals because if you can see here in the picture they look kind of bulky and I feel like they take over my feet um because I have a small foot. Like I said, my feet are pretty thin. And I have small toes. But I'm starting to like fall in love with them. I don't know what it is about them. They're comfortable as well, but heavy. So I don't mind that. I wouldn't walk a mile in these. You know, these are more, for me, fashion. They're not uncomfortable, but they are a bit heavy. I just love the Fendi logo on them like y'all already know I love me some logos so here it is and you know it is a heavy dad sandal and I love these with shorts oversized wide leg jeans and things of that nature so this is the Fendi I think this is the graphite I think that's what they call these two as well I'm not sure but these are a Fendi dad sandal and they're super cute and they're, they're, they're definitely a statement piece. So that's why I picked them up because they do scream Fendi, but they're super cute. Heavy, but cute. Okay, last but not least, number five is going to be my Louis Vuitton Bum D sandals, mules. These kind of remind me of a dad sandal as well. The way your foot fits in the shoe and how it sits in the shoe. And it just, you know, coddles the back of your foot. Because the heel comes up a little bit. And it's just like, hold your feet in. And these are super comfortable as well. I have not got a chance to break these in. I just got these maybe a week ago. They're super cute. I have another pair of these, but just with one buckle, one large buckle. And I had those for a couple years and I broke them in and they're like super comfortable. These are super comfortable, stylish. You cannot go wrong with these. If, if I had to only choose one sandal, I think I will probably pick these even over my Dior d waist slides because of statement staple sandal and i think this sandal is going to be around for years to come so yeah i would definitely pick these over all of my sandals super comfortable um i just love the gold buckles on them and they're just perfect and you can't go wrong with louis vuitton you know what i mean you just can't go wrong with louis vuitton so yes, these are coming in at number five, and I think these will have to be my top sandal, favorite sandal. Okay, so that was my top five sandals. Now I'm going to get into this one last pair of sandals. This is super popular. Everyone wants to have these in a collection, but to me, they're not comfortable. We're just gonna, let's just be honest. To me, they're not comfortable. And it's going to have to be the Hermes Oran sandals. I wanted these sandals so bad, okay? 
so that I stalked the website. I went to the store three or four times. I actually bought two different pair. I bought the white ones where the whole inside is all white. The sole around is brown. That was white. That's the pair I really wanted. But they ran a little bigger than these original ones. And so I think those were new for last year or the year before. So these ones fit me perfect. The other ones were too wide here. It just was very uncomfortable. Okay. Now why I say these are uncomfortable for me, I don't know if it's because if you can see in the picture, my pinky toe rubs really bad here on the leather just very uncomfortable i wore these in miami and when i tell you my feet were burning they were burning and because of these being such a staple piece in your wardrobe because it's the it sandal you want in your collection and i actually have two pair i have not wore the yellow pair yet i have a yellow pair now i know they have these steve Madden makes a pair save your money and buy the steve Madden ones first to see how they feel i'm actually going to go buy me a pair and wear them and see if they're better than the actual hermes or ron sandals because these are not it they're cute simple like i said it's a staple sandal every it girl wants a pair of these but to me they're not comfortable at all I'm so sad because, like I said, they're so expensive. They're probably running $700 now, and I think I pay 6 I don't know if I pay 660 or 630 but now they're going for about $700. They're not comfortable to me at all. So for looks, I will give them a 10, style a 10, comfort a 3. You heard me. A three so try them on maybe walk around in the store uh, if you buy them walk on carpet put a towel down see how they feel but let me tell you they were comfortable in the store they were comfortable at home but when I started walking in the streets of Miami no honey these were not it okay I don't like that shit for sure bro I don't like that shit they were not it. Sorry for the ones who don't already have a pair or were thinking about getting them. And like I have a narrow foot. These are definitely not wide foot friendly. Because like I said, I have a narrow foot and my foot is rubbing. Okay? Try the 38. A 38 is too big. The sizing is very weird. Like it's way too big. So yeah, these I will not pull for probably that much this summer. Only if I'm going from point A to point B, car to the restaurant table, but to like shopping, try to look cute. These are probably just for pictures and short outings, very short. So that's what it is. Okay, guys, that is it for my top five luxury sandals with a bonus. Tell me what you think. If you have any of these sandals, tell me your opinion. Let's talk about it in the comments. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. And if you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Hit that subscribe button and bell notification. So every time I upload a video, you can be notified and you will become an official citizen. Till next time, sis signing off. Peace.